Paper 3A, for a pure mathematics one, advanced, for a mathematics, 9FMO stroke 3A, Friday, 22nd May, 2020. Answer all questions and ensure that your answers to parts of questions are clearly labeled. You should show sufficient working to make your methods clear. Answers without working may not gain full credit. There are eight questions in this question paper. The total mark for this paper is 75. Use L'Hopital's rule to show that the limit as x tends to pi over two e to the sine x minus cos three x minus e divided by tan two x is equals to minus three over two. So I've put here L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule states that for two functions, f of x and g of x, if either the limit of f of x is equal to the limit of g of x equal to zero, or limit as x tends to a f of x is plus or minus infinity, limit as x tends to a f of x is plus or minus infinity, then provided that the limit of f of x over g of x exists. So what we want to do now is we're going to differentiate both the numerator and the denominator. So with differentiation of both the numerator and the denominator, and we can use chain rule, and, and then we apply L'Hopital's rule, and we substitute pi x equals to pi over two into the derivatives. So those are the, the plan, the three things we're planning to do. So what we want to do, we want to differentiate the numerator with respect to x, and we want to differentiate the denominator with respect to x. And we will use this here, y equals to tan kx, then dy over dx is equals to k sec squared kx. And we know if y equals to sine x, then dy over dx is k cos kx. y equals to cos kx, dy over dx is minus k sine kx. So those are some of the rules that we're going to use for the differentiation. When you differentiate e to the x, e to the sine x, you get cos x times e to the sine x. So you differentiate the power. Differential of sine x is cos x. So you multiply by that power, multiply by the cos x, and the e to the sine x stays the same. When you differentiate minus cos 3x, you differentiate the 3x in the middle, in brackets, differential cos 3x, you get 3. So you write the 3, you multiply by the 3, and you differentiate with respect to cos. When you differentiate cos, you get sine. So it becomes sine 3x. And e is just a number, you differentiate e, it becomes 0. When you differentiate tan 2x, differential of tan x becomes sec squared x. But when you differentiate 2x in the middle, 2x, you differentiate it becomes 2. So you multiply it with 2 times sec squared 2x. Now, the limit as x tends to pi over 2. So we substitute in pi over 2. So if you put it's pi over 2 for x there, pi over 2 for x there. So that's what we have. The pi over 2 goes for the x. So wherever we see the x, we replace it with pi over 2. And then put that in your calculator. Make sure your calculator is in radians. And you get 3 over 2 as the answer.